All right. So in this video, uh, I'm going to show you how to properly export all the layers uh, in 512 by 512 so that they line up correctly uh, when you put them in the hash list program. Uh, so let's get started on that. It's going to take a little bit, so just please be patient with me. Uh, you can skip over this. Um, it'll take a few minutes, unfortunately. So, uh, like we mentioned in the previous video, the way you have to uh, put the, uh, the structure of the, of the folders is the background goes first, and that's the outermost back, then it should be the ears, body, uh, nose, and then the eyes go last. So what you'll see first should be the eyes and the nose and the body and the ears and the background uh, and this is backwards to what we have in the layers here but it's it's the way the program wants it so we're gonna do it like that so it actually works so square eyes goes here and save all right and make sure that each export image that you're doing is the same size so 5 by 12 5 by 12 
All right, so one issue we we kind of messed up on here is that we do have to add the PNG here, otherwise it doesn't really save as a PNG. So let's go back to the actual layers here, the first one. So control copy, export, when the right location, save dot png and then export so that's good all right
All right, so with that, we've exported all the layers uh, into the right folder structure for the Hashlips program. Uh, and just before I forget, uh, just to make sure that everything was on the 5x12x5x12, five by 12 by five by 12, um, go to, you select backgrounds, turn this on, hold this right here, then go to file, export pin image, and it will take you to the export tablet right, uh, uh, tab right here, and with the correct uh, image size, 5x12x5x12, five by 12 by five by 12, then you just simply uh, mess around with the layers, so like what you want shown, and it'll still have the correct um, canvas size, 5x5x12, five by five by then you export them as I've shown you before, and that's all it is. Um, so now that we have this set up, we can start getting the prerequisites for the Hashlips program to run correctly, and then we'll uh, I'll show you how to use it, and then you can have like 243 um, uh, NFT variation collection uh, for you to upload to Rarible or any other site like um, OpenSea and sell. Yeah. All right, so until the next video.